Let's do a code review of the builder design pattern. As a refresher, the builder design pattern is used to construct a complex object step by step and the final step will return the object. It separates the construction of a complex object from its representation so that the same construction process can create different representations. The computer class is the product. This class represents the actual product we want to construct using the builder pattern. In this case, it's a computer with properties like CPU, RAM, storage, GPU, and OS. The computer builder is the builder interface. This is an abstract class that declares the methods for constructing the product. It provides a blueprint for builders. Each set method is intended to configure a part of the computer. The getComputer method should return the final product. The gaming computer builder is the concrete builder. It's a concrete implementation of the computer builder abstract class, specifically for building a gaming computer. It begins by initializing a default computer object with no values. Each each set method configures a part of the computer and then returns self to allow for method chaining, aka a fluent interface. The getComputer method returns the final computer after all configurations. Finally, the director. The director class is responsible for the construction of the product using a specific sequence of builder methods. It takes in a builder object during initialization. The build gaming computer method specifies how to build a gaming computer using the builder's methods. It utilizes method chaining for a more consistent concise construction sequence. If you want to create a gaming computer, you just choose a builder, specify the build sequence, and retrieve the final product. There you go, a more readable, organized, and flexible construction process.